This is a tutorial for this portable incubator called the Brooder. This incubator was built by an individual that doesn't make them anymore for traveling with young parrots to keep them warm. We've made it into a portable incubator because it works good for that too. Um, it runs off of 12 volt DC, like a car uh, cigarette lighter. This is the power source when it is plugged into the wall. And it is a 12 volt transformer. It'll turn the wall 120 volts into AC into 12 volts DC. Plugging that in. That's the incubator turning on. Makes that noise. If you need to adjust the temperature, which you probably won't need to do, but if you end up having to do it, you hold down this temperature set button and adjust it with this button while you're holding down this one. It's set at 99 right now because it, that works pretty well for the uh, mercury incubate, uh, in, uh, thermometer that's inside. We've been testing it for like a week. Hold that down. You go up with this. It only goes up. So that would be what it was set at. Right now it's, at, it's reading 99 and it's low because we set it up at 100 something. So to set it back at 99, you hold this down and you can only go up and it'll go up to like eight or and then it goes to 70 and bring it back up to 99. And that's what we want it set at. Just like a regular incubator, you got your heat source on and off, power, and this is your this is your power to run the incubator, 12 volt DC. When you're, you know, in the airport or at the facility and you're warming up the incubator. So when you're on the plane, it'll be powered by these 12 volt sealed batteries. And how you do that is you have this adapter, red to red, black to black. That's the only thing you have to really worry about as far as connections. This, you have to be very careful that you don't put them on the wrong one. That's the only safety issue. That goes to another male, uh, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Here's where you plug the incubator into. This is if you want to charge a battery using your power source. So you can charge a battery and run the incubator off of this thing at the same time. So if you're at, at work, you're charging you're charging this battery and you can plug the incubator into this side here too. So it's a double it's a multi-use adapter. So something you're probably want to want to pick up, kind of insist you pick it up, is a voltage meter or a, just a battery tester that has these probes on it. So to test your batteries, you've got to know that your batteries are are good before you go. This is a 12 volt battery. You want it 12 or higher when it's fully charged. This will probably, I charge this, it'll probably be up at 13 volts. So yeah, so that's a nicely charged battery right there, 13.44 volts DC. This one is, it's 12.73, that's really good too. This one is 12.82. And this one's actually being charged. So if you were to plug this in here, you could see that it is 1381. Um, what's going on is that this thing is, is charging the batteries. So if you were to go to the center pin and the side here, that transformer is putting out 13.81 volts DC and it's charging the batteries. So the batteries will top out, but you're going to need a voltage meter or a battery tester. So the incubator has, it's just an old cooler, and then we they put in a uh, plexiglass thing so that you can look at the eggs without killing the, you know, ruining the heat in here. And that way you can just check the egg, and if, if you're going to bring a, a mercury thermometer, I don't think you're going to need one. This thing's pretty, this readout down here is is generally accurate. At 99, it's been, it's been measuring 99.5 in here for the last week, so we're not really worried about it. It's, it's pretty stable. Take this off. This is the heating element and the fan. 
there are holes on the bottom and the top. So you want to make sure you don't get this crammed down in here because it's going to stop the, the flow of air. So keep it at least at this diagonal, but still be able to close the lid. The egg placement, this, this the bomb is only in here to test it. We're not going to send it like that. Um, it's a dummy egg, obviously. But the foam is made smaller than it needs to be so that the eggs sit in here and are really kind of grabbed on by the by the foam. There's a there's like an inch of foam below the eggs as well, so if it's coming down, you won't have any any worry about them coming up at all. So you can and the cape egg is going to be a bit wider, so it's going to be a nice snug fit. Um, this thing can pretty much be turned upside down, and the egg won't fall out. I'll show you. You can see that it's not going anywhere. This door comes out pretty easily, like that. You pop it back in, so don't worry about breaking it. Just don't put any weight on it. Um, we're gonna put some duct tape here, just to keep it shut all the time. Handle, like this. Your batteries will go in a backpack, and the cord will come out of the backpack. The, the, the one thing that I urge you to be careful with is to not pull on the cords in any way, any of these cords, not pull on the wires. Always use the connector to take them on or to take them off. Always use the connector. These are all handmade things, and so we have to be careful with them. They will break. So always use the, the, uh, the actual plug itself to plug things in and to unplug them. Especially all these. These things, you know, take a lot of beating just traveling. Be very careful of, of this connection. There's no way to protect that one, so that's just the way it is. So I watched the video and I noticed that I had not showed you how to power up the incubator using the battery. So using your adapter has a male end and a female end. This will be for the incubator. This will be for uh, plugging into the power source, the, uh, the wall power source when you're charging the batteries. So, the red side of the red side, black side of the black side. Now you have power to this and you can plug in your incubator into this and it'll start up. In, and that's how you'll power the incubator when you're on the plane. When you're not on the plane, I suggest that you plug the incubator into a wall socket into this transformer to save battery life. I'm going to send you four batteries. They will be charged fully when we send them. And I suggest that you top them off before you leave and test them with a battery tester. Um, just to keep uh, these things safe. These things can short out if something metal comes across them and it will smoke and short out and cause a heating element type of thing. So at least keep the positive covered with these little plugs. We'll send all these uh, covered and uh, please keep those and return them if you can if you can keep them keep them losing them like I'm losing them right now. Um, that's about it. Good luck.